Hey everybody, it's Rob, Sigma 3 Survival School, and today I'm going to be out here working on the camp, and I've decided to start doing a camp craft series. We're out here building our new, uh, you know, survival primitive camp, and, you know, we're, we're building all kinds of new things, and as I start adding things to the camp, I want to show y'all how I set these up. This is kind of our main fireplace area, and what I'm going to do is kind of make an, a, a universal kind of cooking area that you can do a lot of different things on. Um, right here, I basically just got two rocks that have flattened sides on them. And I, all I did was take a little camp shovel, a little lightweight one that you can throw in your backpack. Don't carry those big uh, E-tools like the military has. It's just really overkill. Just get you a small little shovel, something that'll do the job. And if you want to go primitive, then do it with a digging stick. Get you a couple of flat rocks. Dig them to where they are, you know, secure because you never, you never find flat rocks that are perfect for you. So you're going to have to set these, um, you know, so that they're stable. And then throw a couple of rocks on, on both sides of it to make sure that it's a stable platform. And this is where we're going to put our pots and things like that. All I'm doing right now is basically making a ring right across um, or right around where my skillet cooktop is. And then off to the side, I'm going to make a keyhole fire section so that uh, in case we don't feel like chopping wood um, and we've got longer trees, we can basically just run them the length of this. And this is running downhill, so the fire is not going to run with it. And we can basically just feed long logs in here and keep pushing them forward without having to worry about cutting our, our logs. And that saves a lot of calories, especially when you're doing survival and bushcraft training. Okay, here's the keyhole fire. The middle of the fire ring is on the uphill side, down from the keyhole so that the fire doesn't burn backwards later in the night. <clears throat> Here is our cooktop, and I've rock lined the bottom of this for the sole purpose of reflecting more heat upwards, whereas the bottom of this fire pit is soil lined. So here's our finished product. Basically we've got our keyhole fireplace off to one side. That's fantastic for when you don't want to cut firewood, guys. You just cut down a dead tree or you drag something up, you lay it uh, right here in this channel, and then uh, basically every time that uh, it burns out, you just kick the log forward and you've got kind of a perpetual log. Um, you can also build kind of an all-night fire in one of these, uh, all-night body length fire, and you can sleep right next to it. Um, this is a fairly labor-intensive fire pit, but this is something that's going to be for a longer-term setup, you know, a place you like to go camping or whatever. And it's got a lot of, a lot of purposes. Um, we've got our cooktop here, and uh, I'm going to continually keep building on this. This is just the very first part, so make sure that you click over and watch the rest of the videos in this series. We're going to build a, uh, a multi-stage tripod. We're going to have a spit. We're going to have pot hangers. We're going to have basically everything that you can throw into this fire pit. It's going to be kind of the Swiss Army uh, of fire pits. So uh, essentially, uh, just stay tuned for the rest of them. We're going to keep building this up. And uh, also, guys, please help support us by subscribing, sharing these videos, and let's spread this American self-reliance movement to everyone.